In a world where machines are no longer limited to factories or science fiction films, a new generation of humanoid robots is entering our everyday lives. From China to Japan, from the United States to Europe, engineers are designing machines that walk, talk, smile, and even pour coffee in surprising elegance. Some, like Nextage, are already collaborating alongside humans in industries. Others, like Richie or Astro, are pushing the boundaries of humanoid interaction and versatility. These robots are not automatons, cold and lifeless. They are meant to become our companions, our helpers, and avatars of ourselves. Each is a window to a future where technology and humankind converge closer than ever. So, let's enter this compelling world and start today's video. EX Robots from China came another impressive showcase by EX Robots, a company recognized as a global leader in the research and development of intelligent humanoid robots. What sets EX Robots apart is its pioneering work in producing lifelike bionic skin and its ability to mass-produce bionic robots that appear astonishingly human. The company has taken a bold step by combining humanoid robotics with metaverse technology, presenting what it calls the Science and Technology Museum of the Future. Within this vision, visitors could encounter robots that are not only realistic in appearance but also interactive in ways that bridge the digital and physical worlds. Recently, EX Robots unveiled updated humanoid designs that left audiences amazed. These included robots modeled after the famous scientist Albert Einstein and the beloved Taiwanese pop singer Teresa Teng, figures instantly recognizable across cultures. There were also other designs, such as a sympathetic robot programmed to respond emotionally, and an avatar robot that directly copied the movements of one of the company's own employees. This avatar robot used cameras to study the operator's gestures and facial expressions and then mimicked them in real time, creating the uncanny effect of a mechanical twin. Another creation was designed to study and respond to human emotions, a step toward robots that do not just look alive but also react in ways that feel empathetic. The anthropomorphic robots from EX Robots boast up to 140 degrees of freedom throughout their bodies, supported by a proprietary operating system called ROSE. Their torsos and limbs are powered by dozens of flexible actuators, allowing subtle, fluid movements and highly detailed facial expressions. Watching one smile, raise an eyebrow, or tilt its head can be both breathtaking and unsettling. EX Robots is not only building machines but also raising questions about what it means to create artificial beings that mirror humanity so closely. Telenoid Telepresence Robot Of all the display bots, probably none leaves as strange and lasting an impression as does the Telenoid Telepresence Robot. Any who lay eyes on it for the very first time refer to it as the creepiest humanoid robot constructed to date, and it's not so difficult to see why. Its construction is odd, even otherworldly, and that's a deliberate design choice. The concept behind Telenoid is a kind of universal robot physique that will act as a representative of any person, irrespective of gender, age, or looks. You are connected to it over a network, and once so, the robot relays your voice, your head movements, and even facial expressions. That is, when you talk, the Telenoid talks. When you nod your head, it does so as well. This curious creation hails from Japan, designed by Professor Hiroshi Ishiguro, who is well known for exploring limits as to how people and machines are able to interface. The robot itself is approximately 80 centimeters in height and a heavy 5 kilograms in weight, or about 11 pounds. Even though being so small, it has a great purpose in life, being a lonely elder's friend. Envision a person who is alone, and then suddenly he or she has a moving, speaking entity in the room that mimics the expressions and voice of a friend or member of the family. The commercial version of Telenoid has been valued at approximately $8,000, which is expensive, though yet available to a few, such as care centers or families who are prepared to pay for a friend. Many refer to the robot as strange, sometimes creepy, yet there is a strange curiosity it evokes. The Chinese company UB Tech Robotics has introduced a humanoid home robot named Walker X, a robot that expands the definition of what a household companion is. Unlike tiny robotic vacuums or minimal helpers, Walker X is a complete anthropomorphic robot that walks along on two legs, avoids obstacles, and engages in a manner that is surprisingly human-like. People talk to it through two different systems. The first is a high-end voice recognition and speech generation software so it can hear what you have to say and respond in articulate spoken words. The other is a large screen in its head set at eye level, which shows animated facial expressions. Overall, the robot is able to display 28 different emotions, so it has a personality that is perceived as being alive. The body contains light indicators that light during specific interactions, adding even more levels of expression. The arms are provided with five fingers in each hand, so it is able to pick things up that are in excess of six pounds and execute precise tasks where there is a need for precise motor skills. In order to walk in a smooth and stable manner, there are 41 servomotors that cooperate and a dynamic stabilizer system that keeps it stable whether turning or transferring its weight. The ability to walk automatically in familiar and new places is provided by building and updating maps by means of several different algorithms, and it travels at a nice and safe speed of approximately three kilometers an hour, which is close to two miles an hour. Cameras assist in helping it detect obstacles and preventing collision as it explores.
Ritchie by Pollen Robotics. On the European stage, French developers at Pollen Robotics have drawn attention with a robot named Ritchie, along with a prototype of a robotic avatar that demonstrates just how far interaction between people and machines can go. Ritchie has undergone major improvements since it was last presented publicly, showing how quickly this technology is advancing. The robot now includes a wheelbase for mobility, LiDAR for precise environmental mapping, and an array of additional sensors that give it an accurate understanding of the world around it. Beyond simply moving, Ritchie has gained the ability to manipulate objects with surprising dexterity and to hold simple conversations with people, bridging the gap between industrial functionality and social interaction. Standing beside Ritchie, the unnamed avatar prototype offers another fascinating concept. This machine has eight degrees of freedom, allowing it to move its arms and joints with flexibility, and instead of a traditional face, it features a tablet screen. The tablet can display the face of a remote user, meaning anyone who connects can instantly control the robot and project their own presence through it. In essence, the avatar becomes a physical extension of a person, able to roll into a room, wave, and speak through the screen as if the user were there in person. Such an approach has enormous potential for remote communication, education, and even business, allowing people to appear in physical form across great distances. The developers are not simply building machines for novelty, they are shaping practical tools that make distance less of an obstacle. With Ritchie and the Avatar Robot, Pollen Robotics is propelling robotics forward as being personal and accessible, not only being advanced but people-friendly, customizable, and meaningful in daily life. Kawasaki Friend is an interesting piece of work that has been designed specifically to appear friendly and assisting as opposed to menacing. When its height is approximately 168 centimeters and its weight is over 54 kilograms, or approximately 119 pounds, its design is proportioned in a way that makes it seem nearly human-sized without seeming overwhelming. The Kawasaki Friend is strong enough to lift 10 kilograms and travel steadily at 3 kilometers an hour, or approximately 5 miles an hour, so though not fast, its speed is a safe, deliberate pace for interaction with people. What is interesting about this machine is not so much its size or strength, though, as its purpose. Kawasaki developed this robot specifically to provide comfort, entertainment, and daily support to those who most need it, such as patients in a hospital or residents in nursing homes. Its smooth, nearly gentle movements have the potential to simplify daily life for those who have difficulty moving or yearn only for friendship. Currently, its developers have not provided it with full conversational ability in natural language, though they have clearly indicated that such is coming in a later release, meaning that soon, by voice, the robot could converse, respond, and comprehend in a way that will seem yet more personal. This concept resonates deeply culturally in Japan, where, beyond being seen as cold, metallic things, robots are welcoming friends and trusted servants. There is already affection in how individuals there regard robotics, and that mentality opens a world where Kawasaki Friend would not only be received in care centers but in normal households as well. Kenon Robotics Among the attractions at the show was a booth from Kenon Robotics, a company that has flown somewhat beneath the radar as a premier provider of service robots in over 30 countries. What's so compelling about Kenon is not only the variety of robots it has to offer, but its target industries. The company has come up with machines that are ideally suited to hotels and restaurants, where efficiency, friendliness, and reliability are all essential elements in the customer's experience. Picture turning a hotel corner and being greeted by a robot that will take you to your room, or consider a restaurant where a robot comes wheeling out to your table to deliver your meal pronto. These are not far-off fantasies, these are workable solutions that are in use today. Each of these robots has a positioning system to an accuracy of a single centimeter, so it is able to move down narrow hotel corridors, busy dining rooms, or compact kitchenettes without running into furniture or people. They have a simple digital menu that lets guests talk to them easily, and they have data exchange capability so that they remain coordinated, virtually a team of coworkers. The nav system is able to quickly learn new surroundings so whether installed in a large European hotel or a tiny Asian eatery, they are able to figure out the lay of the land and how it works without lengthy periods of training. For ease of life among owners as well as staff, there is an automatic charging system in the robots such that they know when to dock and recharge their batteries. Notably, Kinan Robotics engages in close collaboration with Soft Robotics Group Corporation, which aids in its development and advancement of such innovations. Toyota has also constructed one of the most well-known humanoid robots in the world, a machine called THR3. The robot is remarkable in that it is not autonomous at all as are some others, but is specifically designed to facilitate remote control, allowing it to reach a human operator's body over a great distance. With state-of-the-art 5G network technology, THR3 is capable of reproducing a remote operator's precise movements from as far as 10 kilometers, or approximately 6 miles, away, allowing every element of its body to physically move as the operator's own movements move it. If the individual extends a hand, the robot extends its hand. If the individual walks, it walks in stride. 
What makes it so remarkable is adding a level of input so that, in interaction, the robot's movements are felt by its operator, such as if THR3 touches a subject or engages in contact with another individual. The operator feels that touch contact and is able to dynamically adjust pressure or motion right then and there, as if physically in contact. The operator uses a specialized headset to receive live visual input from a point of view from the robot, such as if a small target is being reached for, providing an immersive experience that is akin to virtually stepping into a robot's body. Due to this technology, there is no jarring or stiff movement characteristic of so many other robots. Its movement is fluid, adaptable, and smooth, very close to that of a living being. Envision a surgeon who is able to perform intricate operations from a distance of miles or a worker accomplishing hazardous labors without leaving a protected, controlled room, such as what Toyota and visions in this robot. Next age, from Japan comes another remarkable contribution to humanoid robotics, developed by Kawada, a company known for creating advanced robots for industrial and practical purposes. Their most famous model is called Nextage, and it has steadily become one of the most versatile industrial humanoid robots in use today. What makes Nextage so notable is not only its humanoid form but its ability to interact seamlessly with both machines and people, making it a true bridge between automated systems and human workers. The robot's arms are equipped with an image recognition system, allowing it to identify objects, orient them correctly, and perform ordinary mechanical work with steady precision. Nextage can tighten screws, operate a typewriter, assemble structures from smaller parts, and even perform a surprising task like brewing a cup of coffee. It is also capable of functioning as a loader, picking up, transporting, and storing storing small objects efficiently. This adaptability has made it useful in a wide range of industries. Since as early as 2009, Nextage robots have been deployed in the production of various types of equipment, including the assembly of automatic teller machines and payment terminals. The key advantage of Nextage is that it works side by side with humans without creating danger, thanks to built-in safety features and controlled motion. Some factories even use the robot as a barista demonstration, showing how comfortably it can serve drinks while still being an industrial machine. The price of Nextage starts at around $62,000, which makes it expensive but still within reach for research labs and manufacturing companies. In the United States, a company named Aptronic has been working on a humanoid robot called Astro, and the most recent update showed the machine in its nearly finished form. What makes Astro interesting is that at this stage, the robot has been developed mainly from the waist up, with its upper half complete and functional, while its legs are still under construction. According to Aptronic, this design was intentional, as the torso, arms, and head represent the core functions required for factory and workshop tasks. Astro is meant to be a strong, compact, and dexterous assistant that can take on the heavy, repetitive, or physically demanding work that often wears down human employees. The company has already announced that the robot is ready to be installed on any type of mobile base a customer may choose, allowing flexibility depending on the work environment. For example, one factory might mount Astro on a wheeled platform for quick floor movement, while another could choose a tracked base for rougher terrain. Currently, like many tele-operated robots, Astro relies on human operators to guide its actions, meaning it does not yet have full autonomy. However, its responsiveness and precision make it a valuable partner in situations where careful manipulation is needed. The company has stated that it is actively working on giving Astro a complete lower body with legs, aiming to create a fully mobile humanoid in the near future. Progress is ongoing, and the vision is for Astro to eventually walk on its own, bringing together both strength and independence. What is certain even to this day is that Aptronic has created a machine that is able to complement industrial labor, a machine that in its design integrates ruggedness, versatility, and possible eventual autonomy. Another striking innovation comes from the agricultural field, where a company working alongside the Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries presented a robot called Agrist. Unlike the larger and more complex service machines, Agrist is all about practicality, affordability, and supporting small farmers who struggle with labor shortages. In many farming communities, especially in rural areas, finding enough workers to handle harvesting has become one of the biggest challenges, and this robot was designed to offer a simple and effective solution. The creators of Agrist decided not to rely on expensive navigation systems but instead chose one of the most economical methods possible, moving the robot along stretched wires set up across the farm. This approach keeps costs low so that almost any farmer, even one with limited resources, could realistically afford to adopt it. The heart of the machine, however, is its computer vision system. 
With its digital eyes, Agrist can scan the plants, identify the fruits that are ripe, and then carefully pick them without damaging the crop. It is not just about replacing human hands, but about adding reliability, speed, and precision during the harvest season when time is critical. Imagine a farmer who used to worry about losing much of the harvest because there were not enough workers available. With Agrist moving along the rows, checking each plant, and gently collecting the ripe fruits, that farmer gains both peace of mind and a dependable partner in the field. This is not a flashy, futuristic robot meant for show. It is a tool designed to meet a real and urgent need. By keeping the technology affordable and easy to use, Agrist's developers are not only assisting local farms, but are constructing a future where automation is a helping hand to communities who contribute a third of global food.